Wait just a goddamn minute. Uh, the Washington football team and their fan is on suicide watch. Look here. I, I gave y'all a chance to let this sink in overnight. I wanted this to sink in. I tell you what, my social media and my phone, it was real quiet. Real quiet during that game. All that talk, well, all that shit talking out. Where you at now? Huh? Did you see what happened? Oh, oh, but the haters are like, well, it was the Washington football team. The same Washington football team that put an L on the defending Super Bowl champions. Hung an L on their ass. And then we come out here, literally beat the brakes off of them. And the haters are gonna come and be like, well, it was the Washington football team. I don't wanna hear that shit. I don't wanna hear it. I do not want to hear it. I'm gonna come on here and I'm gonna act a damn fool. The division is sold up. We have our playoff berth. This puts pressure on Green Bay to keep playing Aaron Rodgers and their starters because if they don't, and they lose, and we went out. Guess who just got the mother flipping one seed? Now, I came up here last week because, you know, I, I, I'm starting to notice the trend. I notice whenever we win, y'all don't come in here. We don't get them haters to come in here and watch the video. But when we lose, oh, y'all, oh, they flock up in here. They flocked their asses up in here. Yeah, Cowboys, stuff, blah, blah. Where you at today? I feel you. I feel you. I'm with Skip Bayless. Break my damn hand hitting the table. How about them Cowboys? Now, like I was saying, I said last week. Last week. If Dak gets back to even three feet force of what he was the first half of the season and the defense continues to keep playing well getting turnovers scoring making stops and getting better and then getting healthy the league is in trouble the league is in trouble and i told you there's nobody i fear i don't fear tampa i don't fear green bay i don't fear I almost said St. Louis. I don't fear LA. I don't fear anybody against my team if they play like they did last night. So you can come up on here and tell me all day, oh, it's the Washington football team. Oh, your division sucks. How about 20 years plus Tom Brady playing in that weak, sorry ass AFC East? Did nobody say a damn thing about him? Every year, getting the first seed, damn near every year. Then nobody say shit about that weak ass division. But when the Cowboys do it, because we got the biggest haters, now it's a problem. I tell you what, I don't know who has more haters, the Cowboys or the Yankees. Probably the Cowboys because football is number one over here in America. So again, the haters, where you at? Y'all real quiet right now. You real quick, you're probably scared. Palms sweating and shit. I know you're scared. It's okay. It's okay to be scared. Because the last thing you want, the last thing you want. God forbid the Cowboys make it to the NFC title game. God forbid the Cowboys make it to the Super Bowl. God forbid that the Dallas freaking Cowboys win the Super Bowl. Y'all know damn well, y'all will never hear the end of it. We can go 0-17 next year, but we won the damn Super Bowl. <laughs> hey, okay, look. I, I, look, I swear, before the game started, I had a premonition. I was like, what? Wouldn't it be some shit if Taylor Heineke tries to uh, the, uh, Travon Diggs on the first play or the first drive to get a pick? Look what the hell happened! He ran.
ran it the whole way. They didn't even look at the receiver. You saw it. As a defensive back, as a corner, that makes me so proud. His ball skills are second to none. Now, he might not be the best cover corner, but when that ball's in the air and he's in the air, Trevon Diggs is the best corner in terms of ball skills and attacking the ball and being a ball hawk in the league. Tell me I'm lying. Whether you're a Cowboy hater or not, tell me I'm lying when I say Trevon Diggs' ball skills are A1 since day one as a corner in the NFL. Name one cornerback or defensive back in the league right now whose ball skills are better than his. Nobody. And he got the biggest mascot in the world, his son. His son remind me of my kids. My girl's the same way, and I do some shit. Uh, Anthony Brown still got to go. I don't care. I, I, I don't know why they didn't try that on Anthony Brown. Why would you try that on Dick? Now he got 11 picks. This first time in, what, almost 40 years someone has had more than 10 interceptions? Period. And let's look at the list of defensive backs that's played in the league since then. Dion, Ed Reed, Troy Palomalu. One of my favorite all-time corners, Champ Bailey. He's the reason why I played cornerback was because of Champ Bailey. I wanted to be just like number 24, Champ Bailey. Michael Parsons, I know people doing the LT wrestling, but I like what he said. You're too early with that. Yes, I'm out here playing on balling, but you way too early. Look here. He stay healthy, and that D, and we keep everybody on that front seven, and they stay healthy. They're going to be a problem for everybody because I'll be damned if there are more than three offensive lines that can block our front seven. Tampa Bay struggled with us, and now we come into our own because I remember at the beginning of the year, Michael Parsons was like, you know, I want Brady, I want Brady, and everybody was talking to him like, oh, he's a rookie. Tom's going to expose him. We gave them a run for their money. Pushed them to the limit. Game one. So now, here we are. Two games left. Arizona went from being the one seed to the wild card, possibly looking in from the outside. And they don't have D-Hop. They don't have that great of a running game. Now, I'm not going to straight up say it's, it's a done deal against Arizona because Kyler Murray is coming home to the Dallas-Fort Worth area where he is a legend. He did not lose one game. Three repeat as a 5A state championship or 6A whatever the hell they got now it was 5A was the highest when I played I played 5A but now and anybody know that in high school in Texas high school football is the king is the shit so if you go repeat in the toughest division in high school football you mean something and Kyler Murray's team he tends to ball out when he comes home so I'm not going to put a done deal. But we in for a bar burner with Philadelphia at the end of the season. Now, that game scares me. That game scares me because for some reason, when we play Philly, like I said this in the pre, I know y'all keep, if you've been watching the video, I've said this so many times. If you watch the podcast on Facebook, I've said this so many times. Philadelphia scares me at the end of the season, especially when they need to get in the playoffs or when we need to. Now, luckily, we're already in. Hopefully, we don't rest too much, but we got to play for that one seed. I would rather sell out in week 17 or 18, whatever the hell, get the one seed, hope Green Bay rest, so we get a bye, then everybody can rest, don't get no COVID outbreaks, we come out ready for a probably more than likely Tampa Bay in the divisional round. But I'm telling you right now, I don't fear anyone. Tampa has injuries, so the fear of that is going out because Tom Brady, last is all Tom Brady ain't gonna push the ball down the field too much, okay? Aaron Rodgers just, I don't know, man. In the playoffs, he, he's good up until the title game. So if we see them in NFC Championship, I don't fear Aaron Rodgers. Before that, probably. But after that, no. Matthew Stafford. Really? Really? You, you want to put stock in Matthew Stafford? What has he done? What has he done? When the lights are the brightest and they shine the brightest, 
Matthew Stafford does not show up. So that leaves Kyler Murray. His team's injured. He lost his best receiver. His team's teetering. Who else does that leave? Washington, you saw what just happened. I told y'all Dak don't lose. Dak got a vendetta against Washington. Maybe he got an ex-girlfriend from D.C. area. So that was a Redskins, excuse me, football team fan. I don't know. He has a vendetta. He's lost one game against the football team, and that was his first game he played against them. Of course, last year he was hurt, so that was payback for last year. I agree with Skip better than that. But, uh. That's great to be a cowboy, isn't it? Be afraid. Do so. It's the cowboys. Be We're trying to do something. Be afraid. Of the Dallas Cowboys. I'm going to say it again. For the people who didn't hear it in the back. Be afraid. Be very afraid of the Dallas Cowboys. I'm going to whack the fool. I'm going to whack the fool. Let's go, Cowboy Nation. Stand up. Let's go. Let's go. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the content. Thank y'all so much for coming through. My name is Apollo. I'm getting up out of here. It's one love. Oh, Lord. I'm going to catch y'all next time, baby.